Hey everyone, Matt Basarsic from RazorEmporium.com. Continuing our Razor Archive series, moving right on down the line into one of the most popular razors by far that we see coming in for service and one of the most popular razors customers find out there, the Gillette Aristocrat. Now, we know that Aristocrat was a class of razor, a name that Gillette had used throughout every incarnation, every line of razors over the decades. But this is the one that by far, I think, stands out the most to people and is one of the most iconic, the late 40s, early 50s aristocrat. So this is going to be denoted as the late 40s, 46, 47, as having two smooth bands above and below the real tight band of knurling here on the middle of the handle. Uh, the 46 and 47 are going to have end caps, have a solid guard, of course, no date code, but they're gonna feature this boxed out center bar with no notch on it. They're also gonna feature the words Pat Nos on package all spelled out on the inside of the blade tray. It's another way to see if it's a 46, 47 era. So right after World War II is over, this is one of the first major razor models that Gillette is starting to make again. They're still packaging it in these handsome leather Texol style cases with blade banks that still are packed full of 10 Gillette Blue Blades. Price was $379, so definitely a higher end razor for most people to buy, but still very, very nice. Uh, plated in 24 karat gold, just absolutely beautiful. I happen to have a really nice kind of mint condition example here, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. This is original Gillette plating. I don't do any revamping on my own collection items. I leave them exactly the way I found them, and this is definitely a, a kind of a showpiece of how nice it is. This is kind of the golden age, in my opinion, of the, of the Gillette razors because you still have some of this old world kind of leather blade bank stuff, but now you have the butterfly razor, heavy gold plating. Absolutely stunning. Now, a little bit later, just a year or two later, we get into the 48 through 50, kind of 51-ish aristocrat, and those are going to now feature the advent of the dispenser. This is going to be a case that maybe a lot of you guys have seen kind of a real famous case. I know for, for me, when I was getting started as a collector, this is kind of the case that I always dreamed of having. It was one of the first ones to get. Um, it's got the Gillette name here, Aristocrat, Diamond and Arrow logo. And you'll see the difference between these two. Uh, the 48 through 50 are gonna have this tight band of neural right above the middle of the handle, as opposed to the 46 and 47 have this smooth band of neural. So, Generally, almost the exact same razor, except for that feature. Other major feature you'll see that the 48 and 50 have, it's gonna be the notch center bar. And that's to hook the dispenser on and hook the blades on. And you'll see the, again, the uh, 46, 47 do not have that. It's the unnotched variety. And this one has blades, and this one has a dispenser. So the correct dispenser and the very first dispenser um, you know, that really came on the market would be the cream one. That's going to be the real early sets, like right on the cusp of 48. Uh, very soon thereafter, you're going to have the Gillette Blue dispenser like this. That's much more common. Uh, this gift set here was sold for $5. So it's just a tremendous value back in the day that you, for $379, you can get the razor by itself. For $5 more, you get this really cool box, extra blades and a shaving cream. Absolutely mint set here. And it says that you can remove the tray in interior paper form and you can use this gift box as an attractive and serviceable container for handkerchiefs, jewelry, or as a travel kit. So Gillette always trying to uh, have the value added kind of pieces here. I remember when I got this set as a collector, it was like my holy grail set that I, I couldn't believe we actually had won this. Um, on an auction site, uh, and this was probably five or eight years ago, and this is, uh, we got a steal on it in today's standards. But what a cool piece of history, in my opinion, kind of the golden era, again, of double edge razors from Gillette, kind of these really nice old world qualities. You don't get into the plastic cases yet, and kind of more of the disposabilities you see later in the 50s and 60s. Still kind of best of both worlds, old world and new world. In terms of rarity, um, you know, one, you can find this in a thrift store. Five, it belongs in a museum. 
people. <laughs> I think the razors alone are very common. In fact, when I go out, you know, antiquing, you know, and I have back in the past, finding an aristocrat was, hey, it was a nice day, but it wasn't like you found a double ring or something really kind of sought after a toggle. Uh, so the razor's certainly more ubiquitous. I would say just the razor alone, maybe a one and a half or two, maybe. If it's in great condition like this with all the original gold plating looking phenomenal and sparkly and shiny, yeah, give it a full another point, maybe two and a half or three. You find it with the case, the blade bank, all the blades, yeah, three and a half or so maybe. You find it like this with the presentation case and all the components are certainly up there, four, four and a half, five out of five. Very hard to find something like this. Um, but cool period of uh, history for Gillette. You know, post-World War II, very collectible. If you have a set like this, if you've seen one, if you've shaved with one, tell me all about it in the comments. I want to hear from you, our valued customer. And if you do leave a comment, you're entered in to win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. We love making these videos for you guys. We're so happy that you guys are tuning in for today's video. Check out the rest of our channel. Please subscribe. Share this video with your friends, your other fellow wet shaving enthusiasts, and we'll see you here at Razor Emporium next time for all things vintage shaving.